going to BFIT Nation, welcome to a special Wednesday workout. It's great to have you back. I'll have you get settled in, grab that towel, grab those waters, grab that comfortable apparel, get settled in, uh, and we will get ready to go as soon as we can here. If you're new to the channel, new to BFIT Live, welcome. This is a space, this is the time for you to set aside some fitness related health and wellness time where we will I will guide you through a um, a specific resistance training workout today we're going to run through four different exercises our timing for today is going to be 40 seconds of work 20 seconds of rest four rounds and in between those four rounds we will have one minute of rest in between each round okay um Again, welcome, BFIT Live. Drop a comment and let us know where you're watching from. Let us know where you're tuning in from. Let us know where you are focusing on your health and wellness from. This is, program is designed to not take up a lot of space here. So I'm just in a, let's say, six foot by six foot area is, is, is all that you may need. These exercises are going to be focused on um, different types of muscle groups, but we are going to be targeting the full body here. I will have dumbbells and uh, just a med ball for me, but if you have any resistance that you'd like to uh, add on to these workouts, to these movements, feel free and grab your dumbbells, grab anything with a handle, grab a water bottle, a gallon of water, detergent, anything, again, anything with a handle to get creative and add a little bit of resistance. Yesterday, last week, we focused on resistance training with bands. Today, we're back on resistance training with added resistance as far as dumbbells go. So I hope you're settled in. I hope you're ready to go. Let us know where you're watching from once again, and welcome to BFIT Live. Before we get started, um, my name is Roy, Roy Montes, the BFIT ambassador here. And we're going to talk a little bit about some of the essentials when it comes to working out and when it comes to living a healthier lifestyle and some of these great products that we offer at our exchange in stores and online at shopmyexchange.com. So I picked up a few hydro flask portable um, containers that you can uh, fill up with any fluid of your choice, water being one of the primary choices for your fitness related endeavors here. So again, uh, water can be important as far as running your body and setting yourself and your body up for success. So Hydrofast uh, went ahead and sent over a few wonderful colors here, uh, very variety of colors here. So again, they're, they're portable, they have a handle, they're, you're able to track them, track your water intake throughout the day. Uh, so 32 ounces here, you know exactly how much you finish throughout your day if you have a targeted goal uh, that you're trying to reach. This is a great way to track your water intake and know exactly where you are throughout the day. Again, portability wise, great product here. So again, shopmyexchange.com for Hydroflask, 32 ounces and in store at your local exchange. All right, so let's get started here. Again, I'll, I'll run through the demo for today. I'll run through each four exercises that we're gonna run through uh, for the workout. We will go through some dynamic stretching to get our minds and our bodies right and ready to work. And then we will go directly into the workout. So our four movements for today, we have a forward lunge with a twist, exercise number two, a dumbbell bent over row. Again, you, don't need, you do not need dumbbells. We can use our hands or we can use anything uh, that you may find with the handle. We have a squat curl press complex. So we are gonna drop down to a squat. We are gonna utilize our biceps for that curl movement and then an overhead press, activating those shoulders, okay? And exercise number four is going to be a moving plank with four toe touches. So I'll run through and demo each of these movements. And again, then we'll go into some dynamic stretching. I hope everyone is well this week and this Wednesday. I hope you're getting through your week nice and strong. So let's start off with a forward lunge here for exercise number one. We're going to start in the back of our mat here. We're going to take a forward lunge forward, forward lunge forward. <laughs> Make sure it's a wide enough stance here to where your front knee is tracking over the front of your toe when you drop those hips down first and your rear knee is gonna be hovering just over the floor here, okay? Now, once you're in that front lunge position, 
you want to rotate to the front leg direction. So if, if my left leg is lunging forward, I'm going to rotate just at a 45 degree angle to the left here, okay? This is going to cause a little bit of instability here, and it's going to force us to activate our core, all right? So again, forward lunge, rotation, back to center, and then extending back up to the top of our movement here. Then we will alternate to our right leg, dropping down nice and comfortable to our comfort level. If your comfort level is just a half squat, then that's perfectly fine, a half lunge. So go ahead and extend out to that right leg, twist, activating that core, causing a little bit of instability, and then we're back up to the back of our mat here. Okay, this is gonna be exercise number one. Exercise number two, we have a bent over row, overhand grip. Overhand meaning our palms are going to be facing us here. So if we have dumbbells, we're gonna go ahead and grab those. We are gonna have a soft bend at our knees here, some coaching cues. Hinging at the hips, meaning we want our hips to be pushed back to the back wall or to the back space here. Hinging at the hips, 45 degree angle at our back here or parallel to the floor, depending on how comfortable you are at pushing those hips back. We wanna try not to round out our back like so, but keeping those shoulders back, right? Hands roughly at our knee level here. And we are going to row up into that 90 degree bend at our elbow and our arm, okay? Squeezing at the top here, squeezing those shoulder blades together, pausing at the top and right back down. That's gonna be our dumbbell bent over row. One key factor here, one key note, you wanna make sure your spine is in alignment here. So your head and your spine should be in a straight line, okay? Any, any hinge movement here, whether it's a bent over row or whether it's a deadlift or a Romanian deadlift, we always wanna make sure that spine and that head is in alignment. So if you're raising or lowering, depending on that hinge movement, you always wanna keep that head, neck and spine in alignment. All right, exercise number three, we are dropping down into a squat curl press. So we wanna take a wide stance, meaning a sumo stance, wider than shoulder width apart here. We, we will have either dumbbells or, or any type of resistance. Let me just grab hydro flask here. We will drop down into a squat. All right, again, making sure that those knees are tracking over our toes. If you are too far forward, push those hips back to make sure that that knee is tracking over the toe, keeping that chest up nice and proud. And your gaze is gonna be looking straight ahead, okay? Into that squat. After you come out of that squat, driving up through the heels, engaging those glutes curl up to a hammer curl. And then you want to press overhead to activate that shoulder. So again, we're working some lower body, we're working our biceps and we are gonna hit and target those shoulders with that overhead press. So down into a squat, into a curl, and then up into an overhead press. All right, should look a little something like this. Once we get moving into our own comfort speed, it's a dumbbell, that's a squat curl press. That's gonna be exercise number three. And exercise number four, we are on deck here. We are on the floor. If you have a mat, go ahead and grab that here. This is a great time to incorporate a mat of your choice. We're gonna be on our elbows and then on our hands here. So exercise number four is four moving planks. So we're gonna be transitioning from a low plank to a high plank. And then we have four toe taps and we are gonna cycle through that for the 40 seconds of work. All right, our hands are going to be shoulder width apart here. So you wanna make sure that your hand is directly underneath that shoulder for the most support, okay? So the most support of that body, keeping those feet shoulder width apart here. We are gonna drop down to our elbows into that low plank. Again, making sure our neck, our spine, our glutes, all the way to our heels or in a relatively straight line, all right? So that's gonna be a low plank, raise back up into a high plank and back down into a low plank alternating the way you get up and lower. So left hand leads, right hand leads. Left hand leads, right leads. So four of those moving planks. After those moving planks, go ahead and reach back. Right hand touches left toe, back to a high plank. Left hand touches right toe, okay? Those are gonna be our toe taps. We're gonna execute four of those. And then we're gonna cycle back down into that moving plank. Four of each here. Four moving planks and four toe touches. Don't worry if you lose count. We're gonna have a lot of fun while we tackle these and I will be with you every step of the way, every rep of the way. 
So with that, let's go ahead and get tiled off here. I hope you're settled in. I hope you have seen all of these movements that we're gonna talk about today. We will jump into some dynamic stretching and then we will move directly into our workout. Mm, yeah, water just tastes so much better. <laughs> mm. All right, team. Again, hope you're doing well. Hope you're ready to work. I'm sure that my timer is still here and set. We won't need it just yet, but it is. Okay, most importantly here, dynamic stretching, okay? The key for our dynamic stretching is to get our minds and our bodies primed up and ready to go, ready to put in some work today. So we wanna make sure that all of our muscle parts, all of our muscle groups are stretched out, warmed up, our bodies warm and ready to prepare, ready to perform the movements that we had ahead of us. So let's start off with dynamic quad stretch. Some of the staples that we normally do within our BFIT live workouts, okay? So dynamic stretching, we're gonna take our right leg back, reach, you're gonna feel that stretch in the front part of your quad, your hip flexor. You're gonna extend that left hand overhead, reaching as far as tall as you can. Okay, pushing those hips forward. Maybe a two or three. Go ahead. There we are. We're gonna go ahead and alternate left leg and right leg. Okay, we're gonna work out each of these dynamic stretches for about 30 seconds. So go at your own pace here. Alternate left leg, right leg, right arm up, left arm up. It's reaching a little bit taller. A little bit taller. Really feeling that stretch in your hip flexors, in your quad, in your shoulders, in your back. A little taller, good. Last one here, and we're moving into a reverse lunge with a reach. Again, we have some lunge movement here, so we're gonna run to, we're gonna come up to the top of our mat, if you will. We're gonna extend one leg back here to a reverse lunge, dropping comfortably that rear knee. Again, cue here, your knee's gonna be tracking over that toe. Go ahead and bring your hands together up and reaching over just slightly to feel that stretch in the opposing lat here in your back. All right, back to the top of the mat. Left leg goes back, arm reach and over. All right, let's go ahead and go at our own speed here. About 15 more seconds of work here, just to warm up our glutes, our quads, our lats, get stretch, get a stretch in our shoulders here. One more for me. We we'll move into lateral lunges here. Go ahead and take a nice wide stance here. All right. We are going to shift our weight over to our left foot, absorbing that weight, and then shifting over laterally to our left. So right to left here at your own pace. Try and make sure that your toes are pointed straight ahead and are in a line here, in alignment. Again, keeping that chest up, you'll feel that stretch in the inner thigh. Again, you should feel some blood flow going to your muscle groups, your lower body extremities here, lateral lunges. All right, good team, good. Let's move into walkouts, okay? We're gonna stand at the back of our mat here. We're gonna reach down, touch our toes here, feel that stretch in your hamstring, in your lower back, in your glutes. Walk out to a high plank. Pause for one second. And then retract back Touch your toes, standing up nice and tall. Feeling that spine, just roll back. And then we will walk back to a high plank again, nice and slow, nice and controlled. And then back to touching our toes and back up. You should feel that stretch again in your hamstring, in your glutes, activating our core. So really warming up that upper body. Good, good work. One more here. Good job. This could be a workout in itself here. All right, team, good work here. Let's go into some hip circles, YTWs, and then that'll be it for our dynamic stretching. So hip circles, right leg back, right leg forward, left leg back, 
big circles here. I'm gonna loosen up those hips. I know we're midweek here, so if we've been sitting for a long period of time, this is gonna help for mobility. So help to get our lunges, our bent over rows, our squat curl press. This will help get us to where we need to be. Again, scan that body here. If you're tight anywhere, this is a great time to focus on loosening up any area that you may be tight in. Last one here and some YTWs for that upper back, mid to upper back and your shoulders here. So we're gonna come with a nice strong stance here. This is our center. We're gonna make a big Y here, extending as far out and up as we can. Big Y, back to center. Big T, reaching left and right. Feeling that stretch in your shoulder blades, mid to upper back, and a big W here. Again, squeezing, pausing at the top here, no rush here. Big Y, good. Back to a T, nice strong stance. Good, back to a W. Don't forget to smile. All right, one more time, big Y. Good, big T. And one last W to show off those biceps. Good, all right, team. Let's towel off, hydrate, and let's get ready to work. I'm gonna set my timer up here. <clears throat> and then once again, our timing for today is 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, our four exercises that we have scheduled, and then for one minute of rest in between each of those four rounds. All right, team. All right, let's get ready to work here. Setting the timer. We have forward lunges with a twist on deck. Again, let me know how you're doing. Let me know how your week is going. I'm always so excited to have you all with me here today. It's a great chance to focus on our fitness, focus on our health, our wellness, on our goals, on any upcoming tests that you may have coming up, whether it's ACFT or a physical fitness test. These are great options for you to really dial in your strength here. 10 seconds on the clock here. We were starting in eight, 40 seconds of work here. Forward lunge with a twist coming up. I'll do it without weight first, and then we will scale up with weight. All right, two, one. Here we go, team. Back of the mat here, forward lunge, left legs forward. Twisting, engaging that core, back to center, back up top. Right legs out, twisting to the right, back to center, and then back up top. This is a great time to bring your hands together if you do not have any weight. If you do have weight, hold it here. If it's a dumbbell, hold it in center. If it's a ball, a med ball, again, hold it here at, at navel level. 12 seconds left here. Engage those glutes, engage those quads. Let's focus on the muscle groups that we are working today. Four more seconds here. Three, two, one, and time. Good job, team. We have 15 seconds of rest here, and then we will jump into our second exercise, a dumbbell bent over row, overhand grip, meaning our palms are gonna be facing us. If you do not have any weight, make nice, strong fists here. Hinging at the hips in three, two, one, here we go, team. Hinging at the hips here, soft bend at the knees, trying to lock out, absorb some of that weight on your joints here. Nice flat back, squeezing at the top. You can see my dumbbells or my fists are hitting at chest level, not at neck level, not at waist level, right at that chest level, okay? First round, we'll learn it. The second round, we will execute it and scale up, making sure that neck isn't aligned with our spine so we're not looking up. We're not looking down, we're right ahead. Just gazing at the floor here. Five more seconds of work here. Three, two, squeeze at the top, one, time. Good job team. 20 seconds of rest here once again, and then we will jump into our squat curl press. Grab anything with a handle if you do not have. If you have a med ball, go ahead and grab that. We'll dial in with the med ball first. Five seconds here, we're taking that nice strong stance with our sumo stance dropping down into a squat here, curling up, and then overhead press. Once again, squat, curl, press. All right, let's make sure and move to our comfort level here. We have 20 seconds left of work. So we're pushing those hips back and down. 
Those knees, again, are tracking over the front of our toes. Curling up, using those biceps to curl up. And then those shoulders, five more seconds here. Three, two, one, and time. All right, team. Things are moving. We are moving. We are grooving. 12 seconds here. We're going to get on deck here, get on the floor for four moving planks and four toe taps here. Great point here is to make sure that our hips are square to the floor, all right? We want our hips to not dip. We are starting in a low plank here, elbows underneath our shoulders, rising up to a high plank, hands under shoulders, and back down into a low plank. Remember four of these, this is my fourth one here. Back into that high plank, and we're reaching. Right arm, left toe, left arm, right toe. Four, so that's two per side. Go at your own pace here, 15 seconds of work left, and we're back up to our moving planks. Four planks, moving planks, and the floor, toe taps. Five seconds left, pike up, three, two, one. Finish it out if you can. Good job. Awesome work. Way to go, Beef Nation. You have earned yourself one minute, a little less, of a hydration break. Go ahead and stretch out, move around, shake it out, and we will get ready for the next round. <sighs> 30 seconds of rest here, and we are back into a forward lunge with a twist. Second round here, first round, we learned it. So the second round, we will go ahead and scale up or execute to the best of our abilities here, even better than our first round. So if you can scale up and wait, let's go ahead and progress up as the rounds go on. Forward lunge with a twist are coming up in eight seconds. All right, we're up in five. Go ahead and use this med ball. Three, two, one. Again, med ball at navel Ooh, height. Lunge out, rotation to add a little bit of instability and engage that core. Our gaze should be following with the twist. Good. The twist is a little too much for you. Let's go ahead and stick to just the forward lunge. 12 more seconds left. And if you need to hold on to something, feel free and use a chair or a bench to hold on to while you execute that forward lunge. Two, one, and time. 20 seconds of rest here, and then we will move into our bent over row. Now's a great time to scale up. So round two, I'm gonna add a little bit of resistance for myself. We are back up in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, team. Feet shoulder width apart. We are hinging at the hips, pushing those hips back. You're gonna squeeze those shoulder blades together at the top of this movement. Our elbows should be tracking and raising towards the ceiling here. Good. Try and hit that 90 degree bend with your elbow. Keeping that neck in line with your spine here. 15 seconds of work. Good. Good job. Stay with it. Last five. Pause at the top if you can. Three, two, one, and time. Good job. Good job. That one's not easy. That one's not easy. Shake it out. Shake it out. All right, team. 10 more seconds left here. And we're jumping into that squat curl press complex here. So if you have dumbbells accessible to you, we're going to go ahead and use those here. Nice wide stance to clear the dumbbells. We're going to drop down into a squat, up into that curl, and then to the overhead press, and then reverse. Nice and controlled here. Controlled, great form, focus on your form. It's gonna be the name of the game here. 21 seconds left, squat, curl, roll out to that overhead press or squat, curl. Stay in that hammer, grip, eight more seconds, five, last three, two, one, and we'll leave those down here. 
<laughs> good work team good work time is flying ending out our second round here with 10 seconds left four moving planks and four toe taps we are up in five let's go ahead and get ready team up in that high plank position two one all right team let's work remember hands underneath your shoulders your feet are shoulder width apart if you need more stability here go ahead and widen that foot stance to give yourself more stability here. Okay. Toe taps here. If you cannot reach your toes, just go ahead and reach as far as you can to your comfort level. All right. If moving up and down on these planks, it's a little too hard. Let's go ahead and scale down into that low plank position for the last seven. Out in five, three, two, hold it, one, time heal yourself off the floor here good work hydration towel off good work second round in the books for you today good job good job team again hydration is key here so make sure that you are drinking enough water here 30 seconds of rest here, and then we will jump back into our third set. Third round, rather. <laughs> 20 seconds of rest here, and we're back in. Again, if you like any of these colors, visit your local exchange or visit shopmyexchange.com. We will send a, a link in the comments to this specific product, or we will follow up with a post, including that link here. Three, two, one forward lunge with a twist coming up 40 seconds of work on the clock here we go team round three scale up if you can making sure that we lunge out again that front knee is tracking over that front toe Tw small twist a 45 degree twist here engaging that core you feel your obliques firing up good 12 more seconds here Last seven, out in five, three, two, one. Good job, way to go team. 17 seconds of rest here and we are jumping into our bent over row. Third round here, if you can add in a pause at the top of your movement, one pause or two pause, let's go ahead and do that for this round. In three, two, one, let's start team. Hinging at the hips here, dropping down. Back is flat, head is neutral. Squeezing up, one, two, dropping back down. Squeezing up, one, two, good. Add in a little pause to your comfort level. Good, let's make sure those hips are pushing back. Soft bend at that knee, 15 seconds of work. Dumbbells are meeting about chest height here, chest level. Squeezing those shoulder blades together. Good. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Last rep. Good job. Way to go, team. Way to go. Our Wednesday workout is flying by here. Eight more seconds of rest here, and we are into a goblet. I'm sorry, a squat curl press. Four seconds here. Three, two, one, let's begin here. Squat down into that curl, into that overhead press, activating those shoulders. Take this movement slowly. We're putting three movements together, three movements for a lot of bang, a lot of bang for our buck here. Again, activating that lower body with that squat, nice deep squat up into that curl and press. Nice and controlled, keeping that chest up. Keeping that gaze straight ahead here. Five more seconds. Last three here. Two, one, and last rep time. All right, team. Good job. Good job. It's getting hot in here. How's it doing where you're at? If you're outside, oh, I wish I was there now. Five seconds here. Moving planks, four moving planks, and four toe touches. Let's start in a low plank position here. 
All right, team, we're gonna move up. That's one, two, knee, three. Elbows tracking over under our shoulders. Four, arm reaches here, toe taps. Again, to our comfort level. Piking up, pushing those hips up to the ceiling. Nice and controlled. Keep that core tight, making sure that we're not swaying at the hips. Keep them square to the floor. Last five seconds. Three, two, one. If you can finish it out, finish it out. Time. <laughs> yes, yes. Good job, team. Way to go. Round three is in the books. One more round to go. Sergeant Barry and I like to say, last round, best round. Last set, best set. So we are coming up on our last round here for BFIT Live. Let's go ahead and make it a good one. All right, if we need to modify any of these movements, go ahead and scale down a little bit. Maybe it's not dropping as low. Maybe it's not stepping out as wide. Maybe you're not rowing as far up, bringing those elbows up, holding that pulse at the top. It's okay. It's okay, let's do what we can here. We have 12 more seconds of rest here and we're moving into that forward lunge with a twist. If you have a dumbbell, not a med ball, let's go ahead and hold that to our navel height here. All right, locking in those biceps for some of that negative work. Contracting those biceps here as a secondary muscle group. All right, lunge with a twist here, slight twist. No need to over exaggerate this twist. 23 more seconds here. Y'all are doing great, keep it up. These are nice compound movements, really designed to get your heart rate going if you push yourself, or if not. <laughs> Seven seconds here. Keep it up, last three. Good job, two, one, there you go. 20 seconds of rest here, you will not see that one again today. <laughs> Dumbbell bent over row with an overhand grip here. Coming up in eight. Grabbing our weight of choice here. Four more seconds. Three, hinging at the hips, dropping down to that flat back, engaging those glutes, that core, squeezing up, pulsing at the top. One, two, lowering down, nice and controlled here. Elbows are meeting in a nine degree bend. Head is in that neutral position mean it's in a line with mint with our spine. Not looking up here, not looking down, but neutral. 15 seconds of work here left for these rows. If you can speed up the tempo, now's a good time to do so for those last eight seconds. Rep it out here. Four, three, two, one. Time, good work team, good work. Dumbbell squat curl press coming up. 10 seconds of rest here. So we are jumping. We are in limited amount of rest here. So we are giving ourselves a limited amount to catch our breath here. Our heart rate is staying elevated, bringing those extra additional calories here. 40 seconds on the clock. We are working team. Down to that squat, down up to that curl and overhead with that press. Reverse that movement going all the way down and all the way up. Keep those glutes engaged at all times, protecting that lower back as we drop down, keeping that chest up nice and proud. Head is looking straight ahead. Good, 10 seconds left. Keep it up, last five, three, two, one, and time. Good job team, way to go. One more round, one more round. One more exercise to go which is our favorites, I know, activating that core. So last set to go here. We are up in three, two, getting down in our high plank position on deck here, low plank to high plank, we're moving. Here we go. Remember that wide foot stance will give you more stability. Go ahead and open up that foot placement. High plank, left hand, right foot, right hand, left foot. Good, four and four here. 
Keeping those hips square to the floor. Try not to dip. Hands are underneath our shoulders. Good, 10 more seconds. Let's get up here. Finish it out strong. Finish with me here. Last five. Do what we can here. Hold that plank. Two, one, and time. <laughs> Excellent work. Well done. Well done, BFIT team. Well done, BFIT Live. Oh, what a good workout. As I hydrate, again, hydration, hydration. Mm. Set yourself up for success, not only throughout the day, but throughout your workouts here. Again, I like to say every day is a workout. No matter if you're in the gym at home or doing those daily activities, what we do in here really translates to the functional movements that you do on a daily basis, okay? Our squats, getting up out of a chair, getting up off the couch. You are activating those glutes, those quads. You're engaging that core in most of your movements that you do on a daily basis. Out of the car, you are engaging that core. So just strengthening that core, a strength with a low to high plank, working on that mobility and flexibility with that toe tap, all right? That's gonna help with your day-to-day -day routine, your daily activities, that forward lunge, okay? Get used to those movements, work out those hips, open up those hips, and let's help make ourselves more um, flexible, more mobile as we go along. Again, every day is a workout, so what we do in here translates to what we are doing on a daily basis. Team, <clears throat> great work today. This was a great resistance-based training workout that we just accomplished. Again, our timing, if you want to take this along and uh, do it on your own with any different types of workouts was 40 seconds on, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. We executed four rounds. Now, if you wanted to scale up and go to five rounds, go to six rounds with the same timing, that'll just lengthen the amount of workout time that you have available to you. So 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. So we had four rounds and we had one minute of rest in between each round. If one minute was too long for you, go ahead and scale that back to 30 seconds or the 20 seconds, okay? Keeping that heart rate elevated, breaking that sweat. But again, hydration is key to really execute to the best of your abilities here. I mean, it'll help you with cognitive thinking. It'll help you with focusing. It'll help you if you have uh, any specific, uh, it may help with headache issues. Uh, dehydration could be a cause of that as well. So stay hydrated. Keep uh, a water bottle with you at all times like this hydro flask. Once again, I got this at uh, online at shopmyexchange.com. Comes in a great variety of colors here that you may find appealing to you. Black, white, a dark, dark green, which I think is a really nice color. I don't know if you can all see this here. It's a dark green color. And we have this really light, light, light purple. It's hard to see there, maybe in Hydro Flask, 32 ounce here, open uh, wide mouth here. So again, find this online at shopmyexchange.com or in store at your local exchange. I hope you all enjoyed this workout. Just a reminder, all of our past and previous workouts are going to be on our Facebook page here. Look under the playlist, Be Fit, and you'll find all of our workouts right underneath that tab, okay? And you can also visit us at, uh, on YouTube at Shop My Exchange right, right there. Look for our BFIT channel as well. And if you are browsing the internet, go ahead and check out shopmyexchange.com forward slash BFIT. You will find a lot of helpful and useful articles related to hydration, related to nutrition, related to our fitness, our health and wellness, our wellness services that we offer at our exchange restaurants, and our healthier choices that we also have available at our express stores with all of our healthy snacking options tagged with a healthier choice tag. So with that, have a great rest of your week. I appreciate you joining me here this Wednesday for our special Wednesday edition. All right, take care, be safe, be ready, be resilient guys, and let's be fit together. Roy Montes signing out. Cheers guys.